We're back. It's been are a, we really? We are back. It's a, been a crazy Monday. Um, welcome to Monday Cinema Club. Hey, how you doing? Johnny right, Peace, 8534 Gang Memes. What's going on? Um, I'm Dante Bosco. I'm Alice Rahmatullah for my Chinese fans. Hello, Alice for my Uyghur fans. Assalamu alaikum, yakshim slad, min alsman bohar gil, bizna cinema club, bumus gha kya gina gha khash I love it. <laughs> for my American fans. What's up? What's up, y'all? What's yo? up? So it is, um... <laughs> sorry for the little late. Far, sorry for the little late. It's been a crazy day here in LA, meetings and whatnot. And, um, so we, but we made it. We're here. We're here today to talk about E2 Mama Tambien. It is, um, uh, Latin Heritage Month. We so, picked this movie by accident. We picked this movie by accident. We're like, we should do a movie like this. And then it happened to be uh, Latin next month. I've been seeing it pop up on all of my streaming stuff. So it's kind of cool. We're right in, cool. we're right in line right in with moment. everything going on. <laughs> and this week we're discussing E2 Mama Tambien. Um, your first time seeing the movie? Yes, this is my first time. Uh, I've seen it before, but it was years. I don't, what year did it come out? Um, 2001. 2001, directed uh, actually by... Actually, shoot it in 2001, um, released on t March 15, 2002. Wow. And then directed by Alfonso Cuarón. Uh, Coron. Coron. That's how you pronounce it? Cuarón. Yes. If I pronounce it wrong, please correct me. Coron. And then cast was... Uh, Diego Luna. Diego Luna. Gael... Um, um, Garcia. Garcia Bernal. Garcia Bernal. Uh, and then... Maribel Mar Verdu Verdu um, as well as many others but um, the movie I love the movie like let me just for people that haven't watched the film a quick breakdown of the film is it's um, a, a coming of age story mm -hmm. of two best friends I'd say they're probably like late teens Teenager. early 20s late maybe 19 20s something like that 19, college 20, about to go 18, to college yeah um and they're best friends and it's kind of about their coming of age uh sexually they talk about their girlfriends their first girlfriends and then kind of like uh getting involved with an older woman and going on a road trip to the beach and and and, and adventure yes. ensues adventure. can i say adventure ensues <laughs> and they find <laughs> out a lot about say. themselves it was a very sexual film um very sexual. Very sexual. Uh, and not like in an erotic way, but like kind of in a very... Sexy, artistic way. Artistic way. Artistic way. way. But in a lot of ways, innocent, youthful, sexual way. Kind of like, the, you know, it's like first discovering e your sexuality mm -hmm. and uh, relationships with the opposite sex. And by the end of the film, spoiler alert, like same sex. <laughs> um, They're discovering themselves. Discovering themselves. But I thought, should I go first or should I go first? It's fine, you can, you can go first. I just, I just thought the movie was beautiful to mm -hmm. me as well as watching the film. Um, you know, you gotta read subtitles and I, I love foreign films. I don't, I mean, I don't watch predominantly foreign films. I don't speak Spanish fluently, so I really had to pay attention to the dialogue that's going mm -hmm. on. It's even sometimes I have to pause it's and kind of go back to be yeah, like, what are they talking very about? Fast. They speak very fast. Mm -hmm. But I like the style of the film. Um, it was poetic. In a, in, a, mm -hmm. in a way, mm -hmm. you know, in, dated, I guess almost 20 years ago, so there was a slight dating of the film, and, which is really cool to see, and it, it reminded me a lot of uh, me and my brothers and friends and of mine, because I have a lot of guy friends, and just that time in our life when we're, we're rambunctious and um, very sexual and mm -hmm. very excited mm -hmm. about life, mm -hmm. and even just picking up on girls and doing things, and drugs, and um, just an adventurous explore, exploration part of your life mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and pushing the limits and then even going past certain mm -hmm. limits that you may, may or may not know you've had. Mm -hmm. And so watching the film, I mean, I love the performances. I love seeing those two guys act together. I love seeing the landscape of, of Mexico. Again, in Mexico, it's beautiful place. really beautiful. Mm -hmm. uh, Mexico's, we live in California and so it's just south of us. Mm -hmm. Uh, I used to go to Mexico a lot, but just like kind of the border towns, Tijuana and Sonata, mm -hmm. that kind of stuff. But to kind of see uh, past to Mexico that, you know, you don't get to see, you know, a lot of times when you watch other foreign films, you get to, you get to uncover things about life and culture in other countries that we may take for granted, at least as Americans, because we're, we're so American-centric on how we watch movies and the whole kind of world revolves around mm -hmm. the perspective of us as Americans. It's great to see other countries that you, mm -hmm. you know, full body characters, full body storylines, um, mm -hmm. 
different kind of people that you may not consider, mm -hmm. you know, quote unquote Mexican or something like that. So it was really beautiful to see, you know, classism, political statements happening in the film, mm -hmm. um, as well as all this coming of age story and this really kind of beautiful story unraveling. But to watch these two guys and their performances, uh, they, they had to be pretty young. It just felt like they were young. It felt so honest and real. It is. Right? It is real Go emotion, ahead. human like emotion. Well, I will talk to this movie a different perspective because, I, again, I'm not American and I did not grow up in this country. So I didn't have this privilege to express myself when I was in a teenage, when I was a teenager. And then um, this ranchy subjects, when it happens in that time period, it got shamed by the society. By where the, you grew up. By the cultural where I grew up. So I feel like the outside of this, um, like coming this country, I mean China, it's people has a privilege to express themselves as a filmmaker freely, and then not the, not to um, worry about so much stuff because mm. nobody will. I mean, of course, there's always this judgment, but like n not controlling by um, upper class society. So I grew up in that in that like controlling religiously or or uh, politics, like politics, religion, Literally. like everything is controlled, but we can't express our, like as a teenager, everyone has that horny teenage, horny. bad uh, spiritual like things. We can't judge that, but that's the human nature. Totally. So when that, when that ranchy subject appears, it's, it's, it's matters. So this is a movie. Were you even, I wonder if this was even available to you in China. I don't time. think so. <laughs> no, I, mean, I don't know how, how it I don't all works think out so. there. The so rating and restriction is really, really rough. Okay. So uh, this, so that's why this is my first time hearing it, first time watching it. It's eye opening, and also it's really, to be honest, for me to jumping into this heavy subjects like uh, it was heavy. Like, it it Mom, was heavy. To be a movie like this and the Boogie Nights. It's really it's it's learning process for me as an individual too. I can assume it's jarring so, to you a little bit because yes. I think of, of, of us as Americans, we watch movies and we're so not that we're like numb to it, but we're used to like the because, violence and the sex and the yes, because, political because, uh, yes, undertones. You, yes, you've been you've been grow up, grow up in that environment, but the, those type of the issues it's already on the table for us, especially for I mean. Uh, for the, all the respect, I respect religion, but especially for the like Muslim background, it's really, really rough stuff to talk about it and bring it on the table. It's it is kind of difficult, but I'm I am a welcome artist. to America. Welcome <laughs> to America. I'm an artist and I'm a filmmaker, and I since moved to California, it's been seven years. So it's slow by slow. I'm accepting. I'm learning. Yeah. Are you and, willing to go that that, and I'm that open the films? Are you willing to be for my life? And I feel like oh. This is the right things to do. This is as an adult, you know. Yeah. After, like, you don't have to experience every single things, but you do have to learn and accept, study, and you will make your own choices. So this movie for me, it's like really like fresh out of the boat and all new concepts. But this is the first time I feeling, I felt those decision of in the character in the movie, people like making decision like it's reasonable. I feel that right. why that uh, lead character made that decision. Director make it really clear and give her a good reason to go to trip with these two teenagers. And why these two teenagers? Why is he's they are so horny? Why they are so like want to? Because they're teenagers. That's why they're so horny. <laughs> be, be, it's sad beyond teen being a teenager. Yeah, beyond yeah. that, so they're mischievous. You know when you're young and you're yes. mischievous. They weren't even trying to get. I mean, they did. They hit on her and they were like. Doing this whole heaven's mouth, we're going to the beach, we're going to the playa, and then when she's like, "Call us go," they're like, "What?" Like they didn't even expect yeah, it to really scared. happen. Yeah, exactly. The teenager, horny Which teenager, beautiful. doesn't mean they can do everything. No. They say it at the same time. When the things happen, they will get scared, and you know, so not just teenagers cute. too. I think everybody. Sometimes <laughs> you just say some stuff. Sometimes you don't really mean it. Not really. No. Yeah, well, if you don't mean it, don't say it. I know, but I think there's dreamers out there just trying to make it happen. Just, you know, take your shot, and then you're like taking that shot, but you're like, not really, like, it ain't really gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? And then it really I happens, and all of a sudden you're like, 
I don't know. I gotta show up. I gotta make something pop off. Anyway, I'll, did you like the movie? I did like the movie because it's a really like heartwarming, like a human, a real human, like expression, emotion warming a film. And then the performance great. Um, I mean the cinema photography like it's so like non filtered it. It's beautiful, beautifully shot it, and then it's it's actually expressed like the show oh, displayed it, like the cultural rich cultural mm -hmm. rich um, dynamic classes and and the political issues at that time it's it's a super organic super right. natural way to show and it's beautifully done well, and a, then yes no I'm saying there's a lot of information going on in the chat and it's really cool some really cool information about yeah how I can't wait to hear Gael Garcia got casted or uh, or, or Diego Luna. Uh, what's up, Nicole? How you doing? Hi, Nicole. Calvatrine's in the house. There's a lot of people, and we're a little late, so should we get into some of the Absolutely, uh, calls? let's pull them people. Okay, yeah. I think our first person on the VIP guest is uh, our dear friend, Aaron Hart. Aaron Hart. Let's bring her in. Aaron. Are you Uzbeki? No. No, I'm Uyghur. I'm not Uzbek. Uyghur. Do you know some Uzbek people? I do. <laughs> we're so close. We're culturally very close. I think we're waiting for Aaron to come in, maybe. Aaron! Yo, Magic Gay, yo, Pe Pepal, Booty, what's going on? So, uh, I'm wearing my Uyghur oh, traditional yeah. dress because it's the Latinos, like, heritage. heritage so, you want to have some little heritage I want to start heritage myself. Too. Is there an Uyghur heritage? <laughs> we can start sure. with Sure. <laughs> Um, she's Uzbek. I don't know if Aaron's coming. Let me try it. Let me try Aaron one more time. Let me try Aaron one more time. Okay, let's try it. Um, maybe? Kind yes? Of no? Maybe so? Should be... I don't know. I don't know. We'll get try We're trying. What's up, K-pop lover, 1904? Um... Oh! Like, while we're waiting for Aaron, do you want to talk about what is your favorite, uh, scene? Yeah, my favorite, uh, what's my favorite scene? I, one of my favorite scenes, I, I think my, like, when I just think you just have really quick in the, in the moment, I say, um, when they're hitting on the girl and they're telling her all about coming to this thing, because they're like these guys and, the, you know, his older cousin's a girl and they hate that guy anyway. You can just kind of see it. It's so funny that they're just making up in the moment. Like, yeah, yeah, we're going to do this thing. Yeah. I think... I and mean, they, I, I know actually, I've been that guy. I, actually, they don't know what's going on. They don't know what's going on. They just want to, like, try to impress some older girl, <laughs> girl and, like, just kind of turn on by her, but, like, kind of a little drunk. Um, I don't know. Aaron's not coming in. I don't you want to re-cancel it and then yeah. read it again? Yeah, Aaron's unable to join. Unable to join. All right, let's see if we can get Mads. Maybe Mads. I know they're together. <laughs> I know they're together. Let's see if that works. Mads, Aaron, please. Join one of them. Maybe. One of them. Anybody. Maybe no one can join us today. I don't know what's going on with the... We're just stuck here. Hello. We're late. Anyway. Uh, we're, we're... Pinkly158, what's going on? It's Zell Gamboa. How you doing? Just shouting out people watching. Thank you guys for watching the stream and, and watching movies with us. Uh, what's up? Jenny, peace. Hey, 8534, hello. Um, I don't know what's going on. It's like, I don't know. No one can join in. I don't know what's going on. Is Everybody. it our... Or is it, do we have a thing? Is that our issue? Or? It wouldn't surprise me on a day like today where everything seems to be a little bit off. Mm -hmm. um, it's not working. Her, she's not working either. Let's just try someone else and okay, see if they let's work. Let's try something else. Uh, let's just see. Um, go into the chat right now. And, if you watched the movie, go into the chat. Um, and, and hashtag. Uh, um, Matt said request not going through. Let's try it one more time. Uh, let's, Here's it. What's the hashtag thing? Um, hashtag Latinx. Ha ha Latinx. Hashtag Latinx. Latinx. Hashtag Latinx will bring you in. Well, our first, uh, look at our first thing. The hell y'all want? <laughs> I'm wearing flamingos. What the hell are you wearing? I'm wearing flamingos today. She's wearing Uyghur outfit. I'm wearing Uyghur uh, silk. It's called Atlas. It's a uh, silk. Real Silk from Silk Road. <laughs> I'm wearing Real Flamingos from Flamingo What's Land. What's the movie? The movie the is movie E2 is Mama Tambien. E2 Mama Tambien. Okay, I saw someone that, hash, that, that used a hashtag. Okay. All right. 
Uh, Aaron, Mads, it's okay. We try to add you a few times. I don't know what's going on. Maybe the okay. whole thing is messed up. We're waiting for the next person. Maybe Instagram's messed up right now. Oh no, we got somebody. Here we go. Here we go. Hi. 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 What's your name? Uh, April. Hi, April. How you doing? Uh, Good, how where are you, you calling in from? Um, what? Sorry. Where Where are you calling in from? Uh, I'm calling in from Illinois. I didn't hold like, turn the volume because I can't hear you. What'd you say? Illinois. Oh, Illinois. Shout, Illinois. Out, shout out to Illinois. So have you seen the, did you watch the movie this week? Have you seen it in the past? Yeah, it's, um, yeah. And what, what do you want to say about the film? What was your uh, point of view on your thoughts, your favorite scenes or moments? Honestly, it's probably one of like how they deal with being fresh off the boat because like stuff like that's like especially hard for certain people. And you have, what's your favorite like moments in the movie? Um, Probably when they first meet. Yeah. Um, with, at the, where, at the, the, the friends? The two, yeah. Yeah. That's great. When did you watch? Did you watch it this week or did you watch it in the past? Yeah, I watched it this week. Oh, very cool. Very Hi. cool. Was it jarring? I didn't, you know, there's a lot of sexuality and things going on. Um, did it bother you or was it like, did it add to I the mean, story? it's kind of like cool just to see representation, honestly, right. because like a lot of people like end up either glossing over it and I mean it's kind of it's good that they they show the good and the bad instead of just you know right 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 are you a Latino um I'm not I'm, no uh, I'm half Asian oh you're half Asian oh very yeah. cool very cool yeah I think seeing a film like this and watching a, a, a film from Mexico you get to see like you said representation and, and really a beautiful story and sometimes you know you can connect more with that we're all the same in one way or another, just in different places, which I think is Yeah, amazing. definitely. Yeah. That's true. That's amazing. And how old are you? Uh, I'm 40. That's the question I was about to ask you. I'm like, <laughs> how old are you? I said I'm 14. 14? Oh, my God. That's a heavy feel for 14-year-old. Oh. Heavy feel for 14 years. I know. Sometimes I forget the, the vast of the audience, but we're doing similar classics, and some similar classics that are sexual, have more sexuality in it. And I apologize. I don't mean to, like... I uh, haven't watched this film with your parents. Oh, or, yeah, or got parents' permission or something. Yeah, know. I got their permission. They're, they're, okay, they're, good. Um, okay, I just want to make sure. I don't want to be out there just honestly, being doing honestly, crazy don't stuff. Worry, don't worry about it because, like, we go to school. All the yeah. time. <laughs> well, I appreciate we your marshmallows there. I appreciate you calling in. All right. Thank you for watching. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Okay. What are you doing? Look, I mean, we have a vast audience. We do have some teenagers watching. Um, please, again, uh, hashtag LatinX and send in a request if you want to uh, get called in, call in to this conversation. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, some some films, some films are we watched fair, some films. Are, we watched Dirty Dancing. I guess we had a lot of adult moments in that too. But we watched. What about dirty dancing? Dirty dancing is it only to a different story? Right. It's, uh, it's, uh, yeah, okay, it's, uh, let's let's bring our friends Aaron or Man. Uh, let's bring. Uh, I Are saw this hand. Okay. They did. We're gonna try this, and then we'll try one more time. They, yeah, she. Yeah. Itzel Gamboa, Itzel. twenty-four. Yeah, we'll try our VIP guest again. Maybe based on her name, I'm pretty sure she's Latino girl. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe not. It's Elle, how are you doing? Hi. Hi. Fine, thank you. Where are you calling in from? Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm from Mexico. There it is. From where? Mexico. You're from Mexico. Mexico. Oh, cool. So awesome. We're talking yeah. about the Tumor Tom Bien. Have you seen the movie? Yes. Um, yeah, I saw it this weekend, but I've seen it before. Oh, cool. Like, Talk a few to years us. years ago. <laughs> but, well, in Mexico, when it first came out, it was like just for adults. Yes. So then, like, teenagers were like, we want to see it. It's about us. Right. So <laughs> they changed it to, like, I think 16 plus or something like that. Oh, wow. And so yeah. are you a teenager right now? I'm 21, so okay. I'm fine. <laughs> All right, adult, let's talk. So let's talk. What did you feel yes. about it when you saw it when you were a teenager, obviously, as well as, well as seeing it now in your 20s? Um, and, and you, yeah, you're well, one of the about you guys. So how do you feel it represented you uh, as Latinos or Mexicans in particular? Yeah, well, um, loads of Alfonso Cuaron's films have that like political issues in the background, which I really like because it's something very important here. Like 
there's always something going on and the government is not very good at tackling problems. Right. So like if you see it in the bigger screen, it's sometimes you can catch other people's eyes to the problem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And yeah, well, oh, I really like the scenes where they're doing like the road trip. Yes, beautiful. All the scenery and the beaches at Oaxaca, which is the state, are really, really beautiful. Is it called, is it called Virgin, Virgin Beach? It, uh, it's Oaxaca. called Huatulco. Oh, they said it's shorter than that. It's, yeah, it's, it's, they say it's a virgin beach because it's not like for tourism specifically. Oh, cool. So it's more like for people, like local, local. people go there right, right. rather than tourists. But the beaches there are beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I really, really want to go. Yeah, I think it really caught, I mean, the, the culture, the liveliness, the musicality, the, the, the spirit of like, you know, my Mexican friends, um, and, and just, you know, just the, the culture kind of somehow capture a lot of within these two guys. And it was really fun, even though there was like reckless parts and there was like coming of age, you know, people making mistakes or people kind of going past their boundaries and, 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 and trying yeah. to them. it's been very interesting filmmaking. Honestly, yes, I, I mean, yeah, I think like being a teenager in Mexico really depends on where you live your social like your social status economical yeah. status and your parents because like some parents will be like no you can't go out and parties or some parents are like oh go you can do whatever you want right, or, right, right. It's, totally think it's parenting probably also uh more like a universal thing i don't know <laughs> no remind me too of like my friends in the philippines and like the social the social circles in, in, in manila and uh, had a lot of the same similarities, I think, with the with that, well, a lot of the whole party scene, the whole social clique, and how things worked out. Yeah, it was very, very because I guess these boys would be more considered what upper middle class, upper class guys in Mexico. Yeah, which is totally yeah, I different. Think, I think one of the dad's parent is like a politician. Politician, or right? Yeah, the and president. They're at a wedding means, with the president. There, that's like that means loads and loads of money, definitely. <laughs> So they had a lot of uh, leeway to get in trouble out there, a lot of freedom to get in a lot of trouble out there. Yes. Also, if you have a car, you can do anything here. Really? <laughs> Mexico. Well, yeah, the I buses aren't go. very good. Well, that is awesome. Thank you for calling hey, in. It's great to get someone from Mexico to call in about this movie. Exactly. It's amazing. I'm so happy. <laughs> All right, cheers. <laughs> Nice to meet you. Bye. Bye. So, thank you for calling in. Wow, that thank was great. We got someone nice. from Mexico to actually call in. Let's see if we can get our, uh, let me see if we can get one of the VIP guests in here. Mm -hmm. Or is their phone broken? Or is our phone broken? Obviously, our know. phone's working. Obviously, our phone was working. What is going on? Mads, Aaron, I'm trying to get you guys in on the, the conversation, but it's not working at the moment. Still not working. Fascinating. I don't know. Waiting for. Can. Can you guys, like, uh, maybe they can resend the request? Um, yeah, resend the request. Maybe we resend the request and okay. uh, and we're going to get another person in here. Again, hashtag Latinx. If you watch E2 Mama Tambien, this is Monday Cinema Club. Me and Alice are talking about uh, movies. movies. And this week is uh, E2 Mama Tambien, uh, starring Diego Luna, Gael Garcia Bernal, uh, directed by... Uh, Coron. Uh, um, you got me. Ah! Alfonso, Alfonso. Alfonso Coron. Coron. Uh, we should ask our Mexican. I know. Mexican friend. So hashtag Latinx, and we'll get you in here. Let me see. Rian House. Do you want to? Alfonso Coron. 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 All right. Let's see. Maz or Aaron, re, re, re try to request and maybe it'll it'll patch in better. Oh, well, okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, okay, there we got declined on that one. Let's see oh, this let's again. Try let's try it again. Let's try it again. Thank you, itself for for coming in talking. Um, who be? There's this. Can you read that? Who be? Who be? Who be? I don't know. Alia. Alia. Um, I don't read. Um, I think it looks like it's a Farsi. I don't read Farsi. We speak Uyghur. It's Turkish. I know. Language. Yes. Just say yes. Uh, same director, Alfonso. 
a total corrected Roma, Roma which Roma. is awesome. Absolutely two different tones. Two different tones, but, two different but Mexican ones. films. Yes, it is. Um, and okay, that's not working. God, okay. I don't know why our VIP guests, we can't get them in this week. I don't know. But we're going to keep going. You can um, try to make. Yeah, I saw, I saw Chris and Nicole. Chris, Nicole. Uh, Renal Silvana, we, we, we try to get you in, but it, it declined. We'll try Decline. again. Hi. Nicole, how are you doing? Hi. How are you? Were you able to watch the film this week? Uh, yeah, I saw it like, about like this Friday. Oh, nice. And so what did you think about it? It was really interesting because it was like coming of age and like, it's like, oh, originally the boys in the beginning of the film, they were like teenage, like when they have like sex. Yeah. Yeah, um, it was like normally like teenage, how normal teenage boys have sex, but like in the ending, they became like more mature. Yeah, yeah, you see them grow up to a degree, right? To, and it's it's interesting how they he, they're able to kind of grow up through these adventures. In after way. yeah, after when they're done, like after like years later, they sit down like cafeteria and they're talking to each other. And obviously, that's like years later they become adult and they have a different perspective for them. And it's like still their relationship is kind of like awkward. I know. <gasps> Nicole, you're 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 Latina. You're, are you Latina? Yeah, I'm Latina. What part? Um, Ecuador. Ecuador. Oh, shout out to Ecuador. And what's one of your favorite moments or scenes in the movie? Mm, my favorite part is like where they're like in the bar restaurant and they're like getting drunk and oh yeah, yeah. the dancing puts like puts like the song on like Marco Antonio Solis, and it's like oh because I like. Growing up Latina, I always heard that song. It sort of like set the mood. Yeah. Which led oh to God. them having sex. So like, oh, I like that. Yeah, and they're so they're so joyous and funny, and they look like they're really drinking and just kind of like capping on each other to a degree. You know, they're talking about stuff, and then the girl puts the music on, and she, she actually turns around, looks right at the camera, and then yeah, kinda she gives looks that at dance. the camera, and she it's kind of sexy and crazy. Yeah, that leads to leads the audience to get and enjoy that enjoy that moment because it's like when the actor looking at the directly in the camera so they try to talk to the audience and yeah that's what i explained kind of broke translate. the fourth wall a little bit yes it's a little break the um third wall whatever. that was a cool scene it reminded I me mean, and i've been to the, like out of the country like the philippines and had like the same kind of moment at some like little bar off the, the beach cultural. and just drinking beer laughing you're just kind of in another place in time it's kind of magical well i don't have that experience i grew up in the desert well, I'm sure there's little places like that in the desert. Uh, anything else you want to tell us about the film, Nicole? Any other favorite moments or anything? Mm, it was interesting as when they were like having sex, and I was like, oh, like Tanok and Julio, they're like having sex, and then we learned how they love more each other more than friends. Right. Like right, showing right. that they're like bi is like, it's, like interesting because like in Latino. Is more like conservative. Yeah, very conservative. Very conservative. Like Machismo, yeah. conservative culture for sure. Yeah. I think I was a definitely uh, remember the first time seeing it. Even now, seeing it, it's like, whoa, oh no, whoa. And I think, you know, it's telling to like them too later on in the story. It's an interesting uh, subject matter. Yeah, it was like after that, they stopped being friends. And then we learned how Tanakh said in the beginning how he wanted to be a writer, but his right. dad wanted him to study economics. But like in the end, that we find out he's studying economics. Yeah, least, right. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. He ended up kind of going after what his dad said, which is a very common thing that all of us do. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, your your ideas, what you want to do, to aside from what your parents want to do, it happens. That's what I become. This <laughs> my parents wants me to be a doctor. <laughs> I know, but you 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 followed your your dream of filmmaking. I mean, he he ended up going to economics. Yeah, happens. This happens. It's <laughs> life. All right, Nicole. Thank you for calling thank in. Nicole, as thank always. You for calling. All right. All right. Let's. Uh, Where's our VIP guest? We could try one more time. Let's try one more time, and then if not, we're Where's gonna Where's our VIP guest? Okay, let's try. Uh, let's see if that works. It's not working. It's not working. We we we. I'm gonna do this. I just I'm gonna do. I'm gonna. There we go. Here's this. One of these others. There's a lot going on here, you guys. 
Uh, yeah, Esther, Esther, Josh. Uh, every week, people DM Alice at her mm -hmm. uh, Instagram at, at Alice Ramatula, and um, they just write in what they want to talk about, and they become a VIP guest. Yeah, we only have two spot. spots for our VIP guests. However, if you don't, if you didn't get the VIP guest list, you always can join. We always gonna bring because apparently our VIP <laughs> guests are working. As a but shout out to Aaron and Matthew. Both of the VIPs are not working at the moment. It just happened. It's one of those Mondays. Someone said, "What are badges?" I don't know. Know what badges are? They just popped up like put badges like all right cool i think it's something instagram's trying out mm -hmm. um and people just dm me what is the movie for next week well next wow. week we're actually we're actually going to take a week off we're going to be on vacation next week so uh no film next week no film <laughs> we're going to just be relaxed just one, one week but we're going to drop a movie because we're going to be out of town and then we'll drop a movie and give you a you know week to watch the film and uh, we'll come back uh there's a few things that are going through our heads that we want to watch you can also uh, hit up Alice and, and suggest some things that we can vote on. Um, like I said, it's Latinx month, so we did want to do a Latinx film. It's actually Filipino Heritage Month, so I think we're going to close the movie out, the film, the month out of October with a mm -hmm. Filipino film. So we'll drop that too, but before that, we're going to do something else. Um, of course, we need to do Filipino Kay Zim films. says we, they love the outfits. I, Who I, said I, that? Oh, thank Zim. you. <laughs> um, but we're still discussing E2 Mamba oh, Tom the end. Um, so there's a lot of people to stack with people in the in the request list. So mm -hmm. uh, to let me know you watch the film, um, hashtag Latinx right now. I'm gonna bring somebody in to uh, discuss the movie with us. Okay. Um, so um, there's a, my favorite quote from the movie. So it said, "Life is like the surf, and so give yourself away like a sea." Do you understand? say that again? They're asking your Instagram. I'm gonna put it in here. Alice. Yes. Yeah, Rahmatullah Lassim. Do you know how to? Yeah, I am, but it's hard to type while we're doing this. Correct me. No, no, to T U. Do it. I'm doing wrong. I'm doing one hand. How come you don't? I'm reading stuff. I'm doing all kinds. There it goes. That's good. So that sounds like an excuse. That's not excuse. You don't know how to spell my last name. I have no. I do. I can spell it backwards, blindfold in the dark. We talked about this. Uh, oh, you know what? You're right. We should do a classic Halloween scary movie as the next movie. Oh yeah. That's a good. That's my weakness. Who said that? I, I never Sophia Houston. Halloween. So please, this is Alice's. Alice's. Um, I'm gonna put. I'm gonna post your thing. Instagram. Her Instagram. Go to Alice is uh, Instagram, which is right there, mm -hmm. and. Um, and suggest films. We'll drop a film this week. We have two weeks to watch it. We'll drop it this week, but you have two weeks to watch this Halloween film and we can discuss it. Halloween classics. I don't know what goes in my mind. I mean, obviously Halloween. Don't ask me. Friday the 13th. This is Cinema ask. Club. So I want a great movie. I want a cinema, classic, scary, spooky Halloween movie. Um, okay, this person keeps wanting to come in and I'm going to try to do a few times. I'm going to try it one more time. We look crazy when we do this, I know. Savannah, Renault, I'm trying to get you in here. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Oh, it says, Savannah, it says Renault Savannah is declined. Decline. I don't so know what's going on. Do you try one more time, our VIP guests? I mean, they're declining too. They're all, we're all declined. They're what all are you guys declining? declining? I don't know. I don't know if we're declining you, they're declining us. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, we have time for at least one or two more people to come in and join this chat. If you watch E2 Mama Tom Bien, hashtag X right now. We'd love to talk to you about, the film. about the film. Um, and that's not working, see? It's not working. Uh, Trick or Treat, Hocus Pocus. What about some other films? Um, the Shining, ooh, The Shining. Is that a Halloween movie? That's it's a scary a movie. Film. Jeepers Creepers. Or? Um, these are all Get good out. ones. Get Out, that's a good one, that's a scary movie. But is there a specifically Halloween themed one? Aww, She's scared. I don't like scary movies. Like that's the thing. I'm not. So um, hashtag because I just want to pick someone randomly. Sometimes we pick people and they don't watch movies. They don't know what to talk about. <laughs> and I love talking to everybody. But when we're talking about film, movies, like and they're like, I never watched a movie. I never talking about. I'm like, I, I feel bad for everybody involved, including myself. Um, Poltergeist. That's a good one. Okay. But let's get a hashtag. 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 hashtag Latinx right now. And I'll bring you in to the stream if you saw the movie. The movie Saw, that's a pretty good one. Coraline's good. You guys have come up with some killer what ones. Killer, I mean, Saw, it's, I, I think I watched the Saw. 
There's like 15,000 stalls. Which one did you watch? The latest one. Under my friend's pressure. Uh, I don't know. We're just I'm gonna, not a big fan of I'm going to bring rock someone rock in. Rock Hopefully rock. they watch the movie. Hopefully. What are we going to do? Hopefully they watch the movie. Yes. Let's bring it. If, cool. If not, we'll talk something else. Maybe talk Shout about out to it. Mike Sosin. Mike, we're trying to get your wife in to uh, come talk to us about E2 Mama Tommy is not going what through. What about the Carlo? Which one? The Carlo did not want to roll with us today. <laughs> um, I'm going to do, I'm going to pick somebody. This All one? Right, pick, yeah. Him? Yeah. Right. Let's see. Hopefully they watch the it feel, Sometimes it feels like uh, just the lottery. You're just out here picking people and just. Yo. Yo. Hi. Hey, what's How going on? I'm great. How are you guys from? doing today? We're Good. doing well. Thank you for asking. Where are you calling um, in from? Hold on, I'm sorry. Can I cut? Can we cut on my headphones? Okay, hold go ahead, on. Go ahead, go ahead. Hello. Yo, Emmanuel, where are you calling in from? Um, I'm, I'm from, um, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm calling from Charlotte, North Carolina. Shout out to North Carolina. Carolina. Um, we know this is Monday Cinema Club, so we're talking about movies today, particularly E2 Mama Tom B N. Were you able to watch the movie? Unfortunately, no. That's okay. But, Do you but know about I, the movie? I, I've never seen it. I'm sorry. I've seen a lot of movies, but I've never seen that one before. I'm it's sorry. okay. It's Latinx month, so we were, we were, we were doing films. Uh, Latinx filmmakers, mm -hmm. Alfonso Coron. Someone out there on the chat said you got you to emphasize the roles of Coron. Coron. Uh, Coron. Coron. But what are you calling him for? What you want to call him to say what's up? I, I wanted to say, man, I mean, I've been a fan of yours for a very long time. I love Hook. And I, I appreciate love, it. Um, even the stuff that your brother's done. I love City Guys. Hey, I just say, shout out to Dion. Yeah, man. I just want to say thank you and, um, you know, for being who you are. And and I just wanted to say that, man. It, I, I mean, really appreciate it. Emmanuel, yeah, I appreciate man. it. Oh, that's so sweet. Uh, thank you for watching and following and, and, and supporting me and my career. I, I really appreciate that. But yes, uh, we're going to continue talking about this film. Try to check Absolutely. it out. I think you might like it. You too, Mama okay. Tommy in. Definitely, Latino I'll check film, it out. English subtitle. All right, cheers, Emmanuel. Yes, Bye. sir. That was cool. That's nice. Warming so, up. if anybody's watched the film, please hashtag. Hashtag. A little bit. Oh, is it my Nicole saying we're saying it wrong? Queron. Queron. No. Yeah. Queron. 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 Oh, Queron. 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 You're right. I'm messing, my, I'm messing it up. Raya 117, what's up? This is. Monday Cinema Club this week we're talking in honor of uh, Latin Heritage Month we're talking about a Mexican film by Alfonso Cuaron starring Diego Luna and uh, Gael Garcia Bernal um, and it's an amazing amazing film and I can't believe it's 18 years old so that's crazy it's not that aged at all uh, see that how to do let me see. Okay. Let me see if this one. This might work. Let me see if this one works. It's not working. Not working. Wait, give a second. Okay. So if you want to come and you watch the movie, I know it's Filipino Heritage Month too right now. We know that and we're going to be doing a Filipino film uh, to close out the month. Um, the for some reason, Mads, you're not doing your thing. It ain't working. What's happening? <laughs> Try again. Uh, I watched the film, but I don't want to send a request. Why not? Melissa Nunez, we're going to try to get you. And you said you watched the film, so we want okay, to hear it from you. See. We can request you. We can also request you. <laughs> she, you can also decline it. That's just how it works. <laughs> Looks like she's declining us. <laughs> uh, Nicole said the scene at the beach is going to be back. And got the goes my favorite back. scene. You're going to ask my favorite scene. My What's favorite your favorite scene? scene? Is like, after they drive like long time and then um, finally they get to the beach and she wake up in the morning. She wakes up in the morning and then she just get off the car and see the ocean. And goes in the water? She goes and ran into the water. That's like exactly the feeling I, how I feel when I'm first time seeing the beach because I grew up in the desert. It's so hot I want to make that feeling happen right now. I want to <laughs> hang this up and go straight to the beach and just start taking my clothes off and just, just walk in the water. The water. Careful, you might gonna hurt yourself, like your arms, you know, even having problem with your arms. 
Naz, I tried to request you 14 times and it's not happening. Okay, let's do that's that rough, one more buddy. time. I'm that's in the middle of it. Buddy. That is rough, buddy. Say it, let him know. That's rough, buddy. So, okay, Mads, we'll get you the next What film. about, uh, um, are, are they using a uh, Wi-Fi? No, but let's get someone else in. We're going to call, we have time for two more people. And we're going to just, I don't know if you watched the film or not. I hope you did. If not, we're always glad to talk to whoever. Honestly, <laughs> we just, we're going to try Should we try this Savannah one more time? Yeah. What's so strange is some people can call in and some people can't. And that, See, that's declined again. Declined it again. This is what uh, is going on. Technology is not on our technology side. Technology. I'm gonna tell you Instagram, the truth. What are I'm, they trying to do with us? I'm, I'm actually. Um, well, then let's try. I'm checking. I'm checking. I'm gonna do this person right here. It is Latinx month. I'm picking a Latin name because maybe they watch the movie. <laughs> <laughs> I don't how know. Do you, how do you know that's a Latin I, name? Guzman. I know a lot. Group a lot of Guzmans. The Guzman. Hey! Oh hey! my gosh, no way. <laughs> no way. What's, What's your name? My, my name is Doug. He's an Asian guy. He's Filipino. I know. Oh I think you got to be Filipino, oh right? Are you Filipino? Yeah, I'm Filipino. Awesome. Oh my. Uh, yes, where are you calling from? I'm from, from Seattle. Oh, shout out to Seattle. Seattle. Hi. I love I love Washington State. Um, were you able to watch a movie this week or you know about E2 Mama Tom yet? No, I have not. I it's okay. Like it's okay. Times. He's I, happy it, to just pull a Filipino I mean, guy. Yes, I, I was pulling a Latin name because it's Latin Heritage Month. And uh, what's <laughs> okay, we got Latin names. We're, Fili we're like the Asian Latinos. So we kind of <laughs> yeah. like half. We fit in there somewhere. But what do you want to oh, call to say? What we call oh, to say? I remember, like, I was so inspired by you when you came to OSU, like, last, I think it was, like, last spring. Oh, dope. Uh, but then that was so dope. And then it's just more, like, keep on writing poetry and all that. And, like, just... Thank you so much. I just want oh, to say man, that right Oh, man, keep writing, keep writing. I mean, That's so nice. doing these films and talking about movies, we started this whole stream because it's all about filmmaking and it's all about storytelling. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's what filmmaking is, but that's what poems are. So keep writing your story. I, you know, our stories matter. It's Filipino. It's Latin Heritage Month and for a few more weeks. And then it's, but it's also Filipino Heritage Month. So mm -hmm. our stories matter. And keep writing. I'm glad I can you know, help inspire you along the way. Oof, yeah, I know it feels good, but uh, yeah, so it just feels good to be um, within my society, and I'm just supporting my university, Ooh. and um, yeah. Well, just, thank you so much. I appreciate. I appreciate right, it. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was cool. Never judge a book by the cover. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I'm not judging books <laughs> by no covers. I promise. Uh, let's see. Uh, should we go to this one? Mm, sure. Should try it. Mm -hmm. right. Why not? Let's try it. I don't know. I don't know. I think there's something going on in your phone too. Now my phone's broken. Now he goes, hi. Oh hi. my god, hi. Elizabeth, Lizby, frozen. frozen. Oh my are god, sorry, hi. How, hi. Are how are you? Yeah. Where are you calling nice in from? Nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you too. I'm from so Teller, Texas. What part of Texas? Teller, Texas. It's like in the Dallas Fort Worth area. Oh, cool, cool. Yeah, I was not expecting this. I like swiped up to screen record. This is crazy. <laughs> I'm a huge fan of both of you. You guys do amazing work. Well, thank, thank you like, so you. much. That means a lot to us. Yeah, um, you guys have you. great style too. Like, uh, as we are best. You know, you know, <laughs> it's a colorful day today. <laughs> it's too much color. Oh my gosh. Okay, I've not seen this movie. I wish I had. I just it's okay. Because I'm a fan. It's fine. Have you heard? Yeah. Have you heard of this movie? I have. Yeah. I you should definitely like watch the film. It's kind of heavy. It's kind of sexual, but it's it's really. Uh, are you part, part... eighteen or older? I'm turning eighteen soon. It doesn't matter. Okay. You're good. You're... <laughs> yes, I'm turning eighteen. But what everybody's you seen a rated R, you know. Yes, yeah, rated R. Well, NC seventeen it probably, and you're seventeen, so you're, you're good. Seventeen, it's good. Yeah, not I'm fourteen or thirteen. But thank no, you for calling. What did you want to call? Do you want to? What did you want to call? Anything in particular you want to talk about? Um, that I'm talking to Prince Zuko. What? <laughs> Well, I that's, think that's crazy. That's... Like, this is such an honor. Can you say, hey, Elizabeth, like, from Hey, Elizabeth. hey Elizabeth, honor from the Fire Nation. For you. Oh, my God. 
But the th thank you for calling in. Thank you for watching. Yes, thank Things you guys so much. Like, try to check out Itumo with Tom Bien. Try to watch that film. You might be like I'll it. I'll watch it and I will tell you guys. You don't love, have to would love, I'll love tell to find you. out. <laughs> right. Okay, find thank out. you. Have an amazing night. You, you too. too. Bye. She's That's sweet. so nice. Shout out to Texas. Shout out to Texas. Texas. Um, all right, we can try. We have time for one more. I'm okay, trying to get people in. Okay, should we give you like one more chance? If you this? can, if you watch the movie, hashtag Latinx right now. We're gonna bring you in to the chat. Maybe. <laughs> what do you mean maybe? You gotta I'll bring it or it. not? I watched the film. Let's. Let's I watched hear. the film Damn. here. One second. Here, I watched the film. Let's bring that person. Who's that? Henry? Henry. Okay. Yo, Henry T. Quevedo. Quevedo. Henry, there you go. what's up? Henry. Hey, what's How up, are guys? You doing? Where are you calling I'm in doing from, pretty Henry? good. How are you? I'm doing well. So, where, where are you calling in from? Oh, I'm calling from Hawaii right now. But oh, I'm actually, Hawaii. Hawaii. Yeah. So, I want to be in Hawaii. That's right his now. favorite spot. Oh, I really? love Hawaii. Yeah, I'm, I'm in Hawaii right now for school, but I'm actually from Mexico. Uh, I heard oh, you mentioned Mexico. Oh, wow. Ensenada earlier. What'd you say? Yeah, you mentioned Ensenada earlier. I'm from Ensenada. Oh, you're from Ensenada. Yeah. Yes, I spent a lot of days as teens going down the beach down there. Uh, great times, great memories. So, nice you're, are you at uh, University of Hawaii or are you at BYU? I'm at, I'm at UH Manoa right now in Oahu. Oh, very cool, very cool. And how are you enjoying it? It's been it's been a good time. I mean, the whole COVID thing, but it's been a good time so far, though. Beautiful. <laughs> so you've seen the movie, obviously. It's about your country. It's about your your people. Your people yeah, you work with. I actually saw it uh, like a few years ago, maybe two years ago. Mm -hmm. But then I saw you talking about. It. I was like, I gotta go see what they're saying. So if I remember correctly, I just wanted to add some of the stuff. Uh, please, please, please add please whatever do. you want. That's what it's about. It's like a book club, but it's like a movie club. So <laughs> yeah, it's not like we're experts on anything about filmmaking, acting, but we want to hear about Exchange stories. Exchange information. And, we're learning. Yeah, so what it meant to you. I remember the. Uh, I remember that Gael one of, and Diego Luna, like the actors, were friends in real life. And one of the things that struck out to me the most was like the type of stuff they talked about, like resembled so much what I grew up with, with my friends. Okay. Right. And how like even some of the things that like, can seem like kind of nasty or like the pool scene where. Uh, yeah, <laughs> they're like, jerking off to get the pool. <laughs> it was just like funny stuff that like, growing up like in public schools, you would be like, like some of your friends would talk about and just like being competitive with each other. And like seeing this uh, Spanish European uh, lady, and like us being Latin Americans, like a lot of people, especially like uh, like where I grew up from, think of them as like something you want to have. Yeah, they're on a pedestal. The Spaniards are definitely exactly. On a pedestal. We so she's European. We put her on her pedestal. We want to like be competitive for each other, even if the friends are in different classes and stuff. Right. So it was just like cool to see, and that's one of the things that stuck with me the most. That is beautiful. You, you, that I thought that too. Them, when they're like being competitive over the girl the first time they meet is so, I mean, it's so teenager boy kind of thing, but yeah. it's also very territorial Mexican. It's very like Latin yeah. machismo, like, and they don't even know what they're doing. You know what I'm saying? They, they're making stuff up, and they don't. Even, I don't think that's a Mexican thing. I, that's that. I, it's, I, it's, I think it's a, a lot of culture. Thing. It's a human nature thing. But human you know, nature, all the men like that when they see is. the girl he likes. But like, there's that I mean, Latin, that Latin territorial. lover thing. That Latin lover thing is like. I think Mexican like. Thing. Like they were being competitive, but the stuff they talked about while they were being competitive and like how they did it was very Mexican in my yeah. opinion. So it was kind of like the thing that stuck to me. And it's funny that the, I didn't know that they knew each other. Their friends were like, because it, it looked, it felt that way so much on screen. It was yeah. like yeah. so real, you know, the way that they kind of played and talked in the banter. And, um, it was just super real. And even the other friends, Saba, they're like, it was just, you knew these guys. Like you knew these guys, yeah. they parted together. They got did it drugs together, the girls. It, it was just too, it just felt so real. You could definitely see the connection between them, for sure. Right. Um, so did, did you grow up in those kind of circles in Mexico? Um, yeah, I mean, like, I also, so like coming to the States too, I've had friends from different classes. So I went to public school back in Mexico, but I've had some friends who are like very wealthy from like uh, the center of Mexico. So being able to like, um, like live and like talk to different classes of Mexico is like something I saw in the movie too. Like the really? dynamics, how it worked. And like, even though they, they say their friendship is like unbreakable, the like the whole society and how they live through stuff can definitely affect their friendship and were the friends like that's what the friends were different class societies uh, julio and Tenoch uh, there yeah so um i think Tenoch, his uh 
his dad was like a politician, if I remember yeah, correctly. Politician. And then Julio, Julio was like a mid class. He wasn't as rich, but they were still. So you can feel that. Like, but you know that you know that distinction in Mexico. Yeah, yeah. There's definitely a distinction. I I feel like I definitely saw it in, in the movie. It's interesting. Do you find it different? What about this? I mean, I don't know. Just talking, like, do you feel it distinct, distinguishing the differences of class in Mexico different than distinguishing class, class in America? In America. Um, or is the same? Or is the same? I don't know. No, I feel like it's definitely different. Uh, I, I find it hard to explain it because like it's been something I've been going through. But yeah, it's it's Mexico is like definitely very classist, and you could see really? that in everyday culture. Yeah. Classism. I mean, I think it's classism everywhere. everywhere. It's, everywhere. Just, it's just in America, it's not as prominent always. I mean, obviously here. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. That's yeah. crazy. And what you, I'm just interested in now. What are you studying in college? Oh, so I'm doing my my master's in cybersecurity right now. Cybersecurity. Cybersecurity. Mm -hmm. Damn. Yes. Sounds good, man. Amazing. Well, congratulations. You must be able to hack our computer right now. Just Thank you for calling <laughs> in. It really means a lot that people, when we're doing these films that's from other cultures, that people can call in with a, a real point of view on it. Because obviously, us as film filmmakers and film lovers and watching and enjoying the film, yeah. but to see someone that kind of even grew up in those areas or those kind of people can mm -hmm. remark on it, I think it's really cool. And, and yeah. so, did you like? So you like the film? So you think it was a pretty I did. depiction of 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 that. Of Mexico, Mexican teenagers. Yeah, I, I definitely, I, I like the movie a lot, and uh, it definitely stuck with me. That's why when I saw you guys talking, I was like, I always, I always look at your videos, but never see the movie you guys are talking about. Right. And I was like, oh, I've seen that movie a few years ago. I'm oh, that's go, nice. Uh, I should post some more room so people can talk about. It. We get caught up, and we get, we get caught up. Yeah. Well, good luck on the rest of your studies. Thank uh, you. He's that's fan. amazing. Um, Avatar, and good talking to you both. Thank you. Say hello Thank to Hawaii. You. I miss Hawaii as soon as COVID. Dive down a little bit. My first, the first time I'm beyond is probably gonna be in Hawaii. First time. <laughs> All right, cheers. All All right, cheers. Have a good day, guys. Bye. Yeah. Wow, that was amazing. That's Shout out to Henry. Great. We had a lot of great people coming on today. Mm -hmm. uh, we were a little bit late. Sorry about being a little bit late and a little bit crazy with the technology. Amazing technology, everything. Home but us. Uh, you two, Mama Tom, the end. I was into it. I loved it. I. I do love it. <laughs> I mean, You're such I a do... good girl. She's such a good girl that you just... Well, is that a bad thing to be? No. I mean, I don't want to be the... I mean, Not I guess I want to be a good bad, girl. But bad meaning good, yes. What? Well, it's different. It's. I mean, I'm accepting it. I don't, I don't, I don't judge it. No. It's a great human expression. It's a beautiful film. Great, great, well written down. Well, um, beautiful cinema photography. Beautiful, I mean, acting. Everything is it's artistic. It's it it is real human uh, emotion. So I do I did love the film, and um, and I yeah. love it too. <laughs> and so thank you guys everyone for joining us. It's always it's great. We're Monday Cinema Club. We're taking one week off. We've been doing this. I don't know how many weeks in a row. There's so many in our Three Instagram. Months. I think it's been like 14, 15 weeks in a row. And we're taking a vacation next week, so we'll be off for a week. But we're gonna drop a Halloween movie for everyone to watch. Please go to Alice Retmatula's. DM and hit her up. Follow her and, and send her uh, ideas for us to do to vote on movies. Maybe we'll do two or three, mm -hmm. and then uh, we'll watch a Halloween movie this month of October. Oh and God, I can't believe it's already classic. October. Um, and yeah, there's badges. Thanks for buying the badges. I'm I still 100 percent know they are, but cool. Mm -hmm. I appreciate mm -hmm. it. And uh, great talking to you guys. We're gonna be on vacation for a week. We'll be back. End of the month, we're going to be doing a Halloween movie and a Filipino American movie for Filipino Heritage Month. Monday Cinema Club, we're out of here. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Nice to talk to you guys.